The UTB18 Capra V2 build continues. In this video, I'm putting some deluxe fab front end parts on it and a new brushless motor from Mofo RC. My quest to find the point of diminishing returns with this truck continues, although we got really, really close in this video, I think. So let's jump in and take a look at the mods that we did in this video. Some of them were recommendations from you guys in the comments that weren't even on my radar before. So we've incorporated them into this build and it is much better for it. So let's jump in and take a look at the upgrades, the build, and then we're gonna go hit the rocks and have some fun. First up, let's take a look at the front end. So these deluxe fab portal boxes and U-joint axle shafts, the inner axle shafts. These were something that I didn't even know existed until you guys commented them on my last UTB18 videos. Now the inner axle shafts on the UTB18 Capra are a significant weak point from the factory. They snap very, very easily, especially after you start putting aftermarket parts on here or upping your power. So Deluxe Fab has this kit that has beefed up U-joint axles, and that's what we've got here. This kit, I think it was around $55. I'll put the link in the description. Comes with the axle shafts, comes with a pair of axle shafts, and also has these brass inner portal boxes here. These shafts are going to be significantly stronger. They're also capable of some pretty extreme steering angle if your build can handle it. Installation on these things is a breeze. Bolted right up, no problem whatsoever. When I got the shafts out, putting these two side by side, they look very similar at first. But then when you see the steering angle that these U-joints are capable of, plus the heavy-duty design of these things, it really gives me the confidence to push this truck hard, knowing that these things are going to hold up to a lot more abuse than the CVDs. While I was in there, I opted to change out the steering link, so I changed out the plastic steering link and put in the optional axial metal steering link. I utilized the axial outer portal covers, and I had some brass hexes from RC All-Wheel Drive. These are really, really heavy. So all in all, I added some significant weight up front. It had quite a bit on it initially, but now we think we've added even more. Next up, we went after the motor and the electronics. So we did the complete overhaul. I was poking around on the Mofo RC website, and I found this powder keg brushless motor. This is an Outrunner style. It looks very similar to the ROP, Revenge of the Pancake, or the SMP, Slow Motion Pancake, that Nick offers over there. But it's much bigger and built for the UTB-18 Capra. The size on this thing, so much smaller than I was expecting. Comparing it to the stock unit, it's about a third of the size, I think. Very, very small. Since the stock system is not capable with a brushless motor, nor does it accept an external ESC, we had to overhaul our entire electronics. So I got the FuryTech Python for the UTB-18. This is a monster ESC. Big power output on this thing. Tons of customization with the integrated Bluetooth module hooking up to the Fury Car app. As you guys know, tons of tuning abilities with this setup. The motor was a direct plug and play with the Python ESC. In fact, that's what Nick recommends you run for this thing. To control it, I used my micro receiver. I'm going to hook this up to my RC8X from Radiolink. It's a little tricky to get everything situated in here. I wish I could mimic the factory setting with it in this little box in the back but just didn't work out this way. But thankfully, because of the small footprint of the powder keg motor, I had a lot of room to work in there. So I just kind of snugged the Python in over on the driver's side, and everything seems to fit pretty well. I utilized the battery adapters that comes with the new V2 Capra. This is an EC2 to IC2, I believe, so now you're able to run the smart batteries that come with the new versions of the Capra also extends the battery lead, which is really critical with this Python setup because the battery lead that comes with this is really short. So with this extension on here, I'm able to run the Python further back and down lower in the chassis and still have room for my battery lead up front. So after some quick tuning and some firmware updates in the Fury Car app, we've got this thing ready to go. So let's fire it up and check it out. Okay, first run with the powder keg powered brushless UTB-18. I'm really excited for this. Got good steering. Right, there it is. Look at that slow crawl, man. I really like this motor, it's super smooth. It's hard to tell on the bench, but Going through the throttle curve, it feels smoother, more linear than the Komodo did. 
I ran the Komodo in my previous brushless UTV-18. This is really nice. Mofo's done a great job with this motor. Plus, when you see it in there, that purple Outrunner spinning in there. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is fantastic. I am pumped with this. Out here with the upgraded UTV-18 Capra. This thing looks sharp out here. I can't wait to run it. Gorgeous day at Crawler Heaven. It's Monday. It's a holiday. Patriot's Day. Not a lot of people have the day off, but I do. So I'm out here enjoying the day. I got the big monster Jeep out here. I actually brought a handsaw with me so I could carve out the trail to get the big gladiator in here. I think I got my ass kicked by all these thorn bushes in here. There's some plants in Massachusetts that are no joke. But nonetheless, we're in here and it was worth it. So let's hit the hard lines with UTV-18 Capra. This gatekeeper is really difficult, even for the tent scales. I always start with this. Oh man, this motor's got tons of power. I always start with this as kind of like a level set. If it can do this, then I know that it's going to be a beast. Oh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's got it. I know it can get it. Whoa. Let me get reset here. We can launch it. Nice. See, it's full of holes here for tires to get stuck in and break in axles and things. But it's really tricky for something this size because those holes are just big enough to really get you jammed up in. But the Capra, the Mini Capra, conquering it pretty easily. With those Deluxe Fab axles up front, really gives me a lot of confidence in this truck because those, those CVDs stock are such a weak point. I feel really good about this build now. See that motor in there spinning up. I love it. Such a nice little motor. And the footprint of that thing is so small. Tackle this section, then head into Bicycle Bridge. Taking a different line here, letting it, slowing it down as much as I can, letting those lugs on the Super Swampers grip with that brushless power gets us through in a different line there. I talk about the point of diminishing returns, especially with the UTV-18 Capra, which I think hits it pretty early. This might be it. What a great combination this is. That Fury Tech Python works fantastic. And I'm really, really satisfied with that MoFo motor. It just works so good. Not glitchy. No hitching like the Komodo motor. Love Fury Tech, but the Komodo motor with UTV-18 Capra left a little bit to be desired in terms of smoothness. This MoFo motor, as you would come to expect from MoFo, is stellar. Oh, the control. And of course, with the Fury Tech Python, you get all the customization you could ever want with that app. This is really a great combo. So I think the only thing left I would do to this would be an upgraded steering servo. And I think a low profile reefs. AGFRC, something along those lines. I think that would be the cherry on top. Contemplating doing four-wheel steer. I don't know if I will or not, though. I really like how balanced this is. The weight distribution is just how I want it. A little bit of understeer with those super swampers. Really got to slow it down. Let it grip. 
and then we're off to the races but that predator compound on these warm rocks it's doing great today if you're really familiar with the utv 18 capper you might notice that i have a black cage on here and the orange body comes with a gray cage so what i did was actually took my v1 capra that i had and i swapped the body panels on it and then put the new electronics and wheels and everything on that one because i like the black cage and now my extra one has the v2 electronics in it whoa what are the chances i can get through here without being stung by that thing all right, we can play together, buddy. I'm going to run it over. <laughs> Come on, wasps. This is like one of my favorite spots here. crawling right up that awesome over in here in kind of the class two area i call it this is a more challenging section of crawler heaven here the capra is doing amazing so i'm anxious to see what it can do in some harder sections look how smooth that is comes up against the resistance of those rocks zero cogging totally smooth that foc field oriented control Keeping the torque and the power nice and steady. That motor doing a great job. This is going to be a real tricky one for the UTV-18 because this is a steep, nasty off-camber here. And get the wheels up where I need to be. I'm going to get hung up in the back there. Oh, maybe not. Is it going to do it? Oh, my gosh. What a line. Super impressive. I'm loving the baby capper right now. This is so much fun, and this thing is so capable. Tunable drag brake doing a great job. Awesome. I'm going to do one more section, then I'm going to turn the camera off and just have some fun. These are the days right here that it's all about. I just wish my little buddy was here with me. Axel's headed to Maine with his mom to visit family for school vacation. So I'm solo, but boy, what a perfect day out here otherwise. Oh no! Good save. Powder cake has tons of power. Got to be real gentle with the throttle. I'm still learning how much I can bump it without looping out. This is on 2S also, running the Spectrum 2S 810 milliamp battery on it. Oh, man. Do the hand of God there. With some practice, I think I could do it, but it was just too feisty to get up through there. I'm really glad I did this swap. I wasn't going to go brushless and go that deep into this truck, but I'm so glad I did. All right, except for that gatekeeper, man, this thing did amazing through there. So much fun. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up filming. I'm going to stay out here for the rest of the afternoon, have some fun. I'll catch you back at the bench. 
So I am mighty impressed with the UTB-18 capper build right now. I took some of my built tent scale rigs, including the SCX-10 Pro, out on the same lines as this truck, and I dare say that the UTB-18 capper performed better in some situations, definitely held its own. Very, very impressed at how good this thing performed today. Now I did throw this on the four corner scales after I shot the video this morning. Weight bias on this thing is 62% front, 38% rear. So with the addition of the new brass parts in the front, we did shift more weight to the front, much more so than I was expecting. That combined with the excellent, excellent control from the Python and the powder keg, that combination is like a one-two punch knockout for this thing. So happy with how this thing performed. So when we talk about the point of diminishing returns, I think we're pretty much there. Other than an upgraded servo, which I do feel like at some points I was wishing I had faster steering, more powerful steering, I think the servo will be the next thing that I do. But other than that, I don't know what else I would want to do to this thing out of fear of messing it up because it is so fantastic right now. But guys, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the UTB-18 Capra V2 build? I'll also put the links for all the parts that we used in this video in the description. And I thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.